Well, I think I'm finally going to get around to it, <laughs> in theory. The server room's a hell of a mess. I really want to get my uh, Slager NAS uh, put in the rack. I have it running right now, doing backups. But, uh, yeah, it's time to fix all this mess and garbage. Um, have a few plans, but also kind of looking for some input. Uh, all the networking stuff is going to get relegated to the back where it belongs. There's no reason to have switches in the front. Everyone does it, but it doesn't make it right. <laughs> um, so all this stuff up here is going to go towards the back. I am going to be adding a 10 gig switch towards the middle, which is going to be interesting. Um, and then I need to do some housekeeping here. So this C6320 was supposed to be sold. It was worth a lot of money two years ago when I got it. But it's been sitting idle because one of the nodes died and I just said screw it. I got pissed off and whatever. Um, this, anyway, is so stuffed. Uh, oh, that's sad. My uh, R730XD that I bought a year ago was supposed to be my new server. We'll see if that ever happens. Got two rack consoles here. This one's on a KVM and this one's just hanging, hanging loose. Um, this drawer, I should probably figure out how to oil because it sticks. But these boxes are empty. <laughs> and uh, I believe this three terabyte drive is a cold spare. Plus some random cables that I don't use because I don't know uh, which uh, battery backups are compatible with even. And some random adapters. I guess I kind of need that for the rack consoles and that. Oh, it's an Apple one. Should grab an Apple one. Not that it matters. Oh, and it doesn't go in very good either. Also, I wonder. I should replace this lock and make it kind of lockable, so I can lock myself out of it. <laughs> but rack PDU is basically pointless. The only thing plugged into it, I think, is this rack console. This one's plugged into the 220 volt circuit. My primary R720, which is going to be replaced with the uh, R730. Backup R720, which is uh, doing all my backups. It's just a glorified NAS. This is going to be replaced with the Slager. Um, R520 was my really screwy. Oh, wait, nope. That's not my R520. That's R720. That R720 was my uh, test box that I could do whatever I want with, basically. This R520 <laughs> was my, my screwy attempt at making a custom build NAS that was rack mountable. I am thinking about doing another project similar to this, but I don't know. We'll see what, what happens there. That's been fine. It has plenty of space for now. This server is hosting some video game stuff. And then I got my three battery backups. These two are being used. It would be really nice if I could uh, use this one, but I need a buck boost transformer that will drop my 240 volt down to 208, which I don't know how to properly size, so I haven't uh, bought one, although I almost did. That's the outlet. Um, but the company I was going to buy it from was like, oh, well, we, we don't know how to size these things or how to recommend them. It's like, you sell them. You want $500 for a transformer. You can't tell me? And it's just like, whatever, I just won't buy it then. Um, apparently it's missing in action. I will be adding... Oh, I don't know what. Uh, oh, there it is. My auto transfer switch. I don't know where that's going to go in the rack. Um, probably towards the top and the back. Actually, no, I might put it in the front. Um... That is going to be used for all my uh, non-redundant power supply stuff. Mostly so I can take a, a UPS down if I need to without killing my network. Oh, but yeah, so hopefully moving the switches to the back will kill some of this spaghetti. Um, I haven't... Uh, I'm kind of sad I haven't been able to use this yet. 
I'm technically using it right now, but there's a zero U APC PDU here that's managed. Um, it's good for, I think, 200 to 240 volts. So, I have a few things that are running off of it right now. I don't know what. I think rack, rack console. And maybe a server. But I don't have any way to do a battery backup on that, so... Um, yeah. I need to get that 3000 VA going. Uh, and then not really much to see in the back. Hopefully I'll be able to clean this up. I mean, I don't know what the hell's going on with this. What a mess. Um, probably I'm going to put a switch probably about right here. 10 gig switch. Unfortunately, it's front to back cooling, so it's going to be the wrong orientation. It's going to be blowing higher back that way. Don't know what I'm going to do about that yet. But it will get me closer to my servers, and then I will be going back to RJ45, I think. I think I've finally committed that the uh, servers are going to be RJ45 10 gig, not SFP. Um, because I want to be able to do 10 gig to other parts of my office. Um, which will be interesting because that means some of the ports won't have PoE and technically some of these cables aren't even rated for 10 gigs so we'll see how much of 10 gig I can get out of them. Huh, don't remember what this is about. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not much is going to change in the back. Um, the one bummer about the Sliger case is it's not going to have cable management arms. So it'll be on rails, but cables will just kind of flop in the breeze, so I gotta figure that out. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. Curious to see, I guess, if anyone has any input or suggestions on what I should do with the rack. Um, for the most part, I'll close this real quick so I don't forget. Oops. Ah, uh, yes. Fingers. There we go. For the most part, the rack consoles are going to stay where they are. They're at an ideal height. Um, I haven't decided with the rack drawer and then this rack shelf. The rack shelf's in a good spot. I was kind of thinking about switching it out for a Dell one so the uh, bezels would match. This is, oops, no, it's not going all the way now. <laughs> I don't have enough hands. Because um, this is kind of an eyesore. Maybe it would have gone in all the way. I don't know. Let's see here. Oh, nice. Yeah. I don't mind how it looks, but it'd be kind of cool if these all match. So maybe I'll waste some rails and use a junk uh, 11th gen server as a rack shelf. I think I have an R610 or like an R4. No, R. Oh yeah, R415. <laughs> that I could use as a rack shelf. Plus then I'd have better storage than this because this was, um, has thumb screws, which are kind of hard to get to. That one's not screwed in. But in theory, you know, I could unscrew these and, uh, yeah. Oh. Quite a bit of storage in there, actually. But I don't know what's going to happen there. Um, but yeah, I guess I'd be curious to see what people think I should do with, uh, the setup. Um, tried reaching out to a few people about sponsorships, but part of me is kind of glad that's not going to work out. No one ever got back to me. Um, because what I originally was going to do is keep all this in the front and just do it nicer, but now that's all going to go in the back, and yeah. But either way, hopefully it was interesting, and thanks for watching.